Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to make a new body shell for my uh, HPI Blitz. This thing has really seen uh, better days. It's, uh, it's cracked all over, it's scuffed all over. The Blitz is a really nice uh, uh, car and a nice uh, 10 scale short course truck. The only thing that I do not like about it is the body. To me it looks way too bulky. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I didn't look after this body all too well and uh, it's time for a replacement right now. Proline has released, I'll move this over to the side for a tiny bit, Proline has released these uh, Flowtech bodies. I will show you a close up in a tiny bit uh, if you're not familiar with them. These Flowtech bodies have a bit uh, different aerodynamic uh, specifications to them. Uh, you can basically cut out a whole lot of the body which will avoid it uh, parachuting. If you have ever seen a short course truck uh, jump on a track, parachuting, that's the air getting caught underneath the shell, is a huge problem in going around the track a tiny bit faster. I don't take my blitz out to the track all that much, but I just thought that this body looks really, really cool. So that's why I'm going to use this uh, for my next project. The theme for my project is going to be, I don't know about you people, but me for the past week, that's also why my eyes are kind of a bit baggy. I've been totally consumed by Grand Theft Auto V. I've been playing it until well, uh, early in the morning. I'm going to say late at night, but really early in the morning. Every single day. Uh, it's an awesome game and inspiration can come from uh, many things. And in this case, it came from a video game. So what I want to do, I want to show you a few really simple tricks. How you can uh, put a theme like that to work using rattle pants and tape because uh, I'm going to keep it simple so you can follow along if you want to and just make sure that you catch a certain uh, vibe in your paint scheme without going, having to go completely overboard with uh, airbrushes or uh, whatnot. So I hope you tag along and I hope you like this video. Well I pulled the body out of the bag, comes with a lot of dimples, I think that's the, to fit it on a on all those different uh, truck models. I have no idea which ones to use for the HPI Blitz. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the old body, uh, test fit it, see uh, where I actually need to drill those uh, mounting holes. And I'm going to cut the rest of the shell before I do anything else. I can uh, see over here, there's some uh, yeah, winglets, spoilers, things. Those attached to the sides because of course, like everybody else, I of course, uh, Look on the internet, see what those uh, Flowtech bodies look like, and these wings give it a bit more of an aggressive look. They also allow me to put some extra paint on there, so that's nice. Um, well, you can tell instantly that uh, compared to the stock shell, this one looks way more aggressive with all these vents, wings, winglets, cutouts, all those uh, things. I'm not sure which parts I'm going to actually cut out. Uh, I know that you can do a whole lot. There's uh, plenty of videos on uh, how much you can actually take out of this body before it uh, starts to get weak. And uh, well, it feels it feels a bit sturdier than uh, than the stalker. So that's a good thing. The body is cut and I test fitted it. I also uh, reamed out the holes for the body posts, which in, the, in this case uh, with the Flowtech body, they're indicated with a few dimples. You want to use the ones that are uh, most uh, in front of the car. Uh, that's as well in the, in the back of the car uh, as in the front to mount it on the HPI Blitz. For other cars, for the, the Traxxas Slash for example, or the, the SC10, you want to use other holes. But uh, you know, just put it on there, make sure to, uh, to do this before you start painting because that's the easiest way to do it. Also cut out these uh, little winglets. I think that will add a bit to the sturdiness of the back and well, apart from that, that will look cool on there. Um, I also made sure to drill these holes before I start painting. That way I have a good view of what I'm uh, actually doing and of where those holes need to go uh, with the shell still being transparent. Uh, right now, because there's always a molding residue left inside the Lexum which will avoid your paint from sticking properly, uh, I'm going to wash it out completely, scuff it up a tiny bit with a scotch bright uh, sponge and uh, let it dry out completely before I uh, go and uh, select my tape and uh, tape it up entirely before I put on the design. The body's all clean, I uh, masked it up in some areas. Uh, I didn't choose to mask it up completely because I'm going to start out with the anodized and the metallic color first. Those need to be uh, backed with the black, so there's no reason for me to mask it all up and uh, start out with the black first. 
so that that kind of saves me a lot of work as well what I did over here is I uh, captured some uh, Grand Theft Auto logos from the internet uh, mirrored them around in Photoshop and printed them that way I get a bit of a guideline on uh, what to do with uh, with the cutting on the inside I also put uh, a Hemistone logo over here on the side I use the same font that uh, Grand Theft Auto uses if you want to search for it it's called price down and I put the 5 uh, from the logo on the hood just because I had a nice area over there uh, to do something with still got uh, this area in the bed that I might do something funny with uh, but for the main area of the body I'm uh, going to select my uh, my marker, my sharpie what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the, the design on the main parts which is going to be uh, somewhere along these lines, not, to, not to the woman, but the silhouette of the palm trees. I think that gives off a really nice uh, Grand Theft Auto vibe. It's all about uh, beaches, money, uh, stuff like that. So the good life and uh, I think those palm trees reflect that uh, nicely. I don't have a whole lot of uh, body area to paint on, but uh, to put in a few palm trees here and there, I think that is uh, doable. I'm uh, done marking up the body. I did a uh, freehand and put some, uh, some palm trees on the uh, back fenders as well. And right now it's time to uh, get the scalpel and uh, put the body on the lamp, look through it and uh, see what I need to cut. If you can see I'm done cutting and masking, I left a large surface open because what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start out with some uh, anodized colors and some metallic colors. Both of those need to be backed with a black. So uh, for this purpose I do not need to worry about peeling the black first, that's what I'm going to do second. It's going to be the second step in my paint scheme. Uh, over here you see the, the lettering cut out, Grand Theft Auto on the roof. As I explained I printed it in mirror, put it on the shell and then cut it out with a, with a ruler. Um, the same with the logo over here and on the surrounding area I've put some uh, palm trees. What I want to try and replicate over here is a sunset sky. Um, I have no idea how that's going to turn out but I think with some uh, purple metallic, uh, some purple anodized aluminium, a few pinks and maybe even a yellow that I might be able to uh, get close to that effect. Time for some uh, paint cans. And there's a lot of different opinions on uh, what to use for backing colors. I usually uh, go for something dark like a gunmetal or a black. Uh, there's also a lot of people who uh, back stuff up with uh, silver which might also work. For the fading in the sunset sky I'm going to use uh, metallic purple, a purple anodized aluminium, a sparkling pink anodized aluminium. This is most likely not going to be the most uh, masculine shell that you will ever see. But I don't care because I like those really pink sunsets. Um, maybe a regular pink and maybe a yellow. I'm not too sure about that one yet. But I will just paint and uh, see as I go how it, uh, how it looks. Well you can tell I got a nice little uh, gradient going on from uh, yellow to pink to anodized aluminium pink to anodized aluminium purple to metallic purple. So this part I'm going to back up with black. This I'm going to protect with, uh, with some white because I want the yellow to pop. It uh, needs to uh, resemble the sun a tiny bit. What I'm going to do right now, I divided the palm trees on the one end uh, with the sky. Uh, that, that's going to be black afterwards, like a, like a silhouette. And I divided that with a tiny line. Uh, underneath the line right now I'm going to peel that section. That is going to be uh, anodized blue in front, uh, fading out to a metallic blue, fading out to maybe even a black in the, in the back. And I think that will give it a nice bit of a contrast and will also make sure that you see the difference between uh, what is supposed to be sky and what is supposed to be water. Well, this is uh, starting to look quite uh, colorful, let's uh, call it that. Um, I put the anodized uh, blue on, I put the metallic blue on. Right now I'm going to peel those uh, palm trees, I'm going to peel all those uh, outlines over here and uh, the back bed. And then I'm going to fill all of that in with black. That way I get a bit of contrast and uh, I'll be able to see what kind of effect I actually uh, accomplished over here. 
All of the black is peeled, it's only a few steps left right now, uh, kind of, before the shell is completely done. Uh, you use your scalpel just to, uh, to lift up the tape and uh, afterwards you use a pair of tweezers to just uh, pull it out. Especially in these uh, more detailed sections, you, you won't be able to catch that with your uh, finger, so uh, uh, use some tweezers for that. Um, there's one bit of color left here in the front that I need to fill in, it's going to be that uh, green, that money green. Got a tiny trick that I'm going to uh, perform to, to give it a bit of a more of a money feel, uh, like it has on the on the box of the game. And uh, over here in the back, I put a tiny uh, Los Santos uh, logo. I want to fill that in with the yellow. So I'm going to do that later. First, I'm going to fill in the black. Gives me a good idea of uh, where I'm at. One of the only uh, colored bits that I got left right now to peel out is the five. And as you can see over here, there's a, kind of like a structure going on in those uh, in those colors. So what I'm going to do, it won't be fully accurate, but I'm just going to uh, warp up some uh, drywall tape, put it in there. You can hear that I'm still really bad at muting my phone when I'm uh, recording something. I'll put it in there and uh, I'll back it up with a uh, green and white. Uh, get a bit of a transition going on in there and afterwards I'm going to back it up with another green after removing the drywall tape. I'm done painting on the inside and although it is really tempting to just go ahead and rip off that clear overspray film right now, I suggest always to put in like a few more minutes and make a few cutouts in the clear overspray film and uh, fill those cutouts with uh, a flat clear coat. The flat clear coat will give it this really nice uh, a uh, subtle detail difference between uh, the shiny bits and, uh, and the flat parts on the outside and it will make your car stand out in the crowd. Well that's it now to uh, create this really a custom uh, Grand Theft Auto look with the use of really simple materials for your uh, RC car. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did uh, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and if you want to join us on uh, Facebook there's a link in the description box below. I really need to start cleaning up uh, the living room over here because it looks like uh, Trevor Phillips has been over for a weekend uh, visit. I'll be most likely going back to gaming right now and uh, I hope to see you around.